What's up YouTube? Back today with another video here in the fish room. And in today's video, I'm just gonna be running through all my aquariums and give you guys a quick little update because my last video was uh, about a week ago, but the last update video I shot was the end of 2022. So now it's the end of January and 2023. So I figure I'll go ahead and do like monthly updates here this year because everything changes so much in the fish room over a course of a month, it seems like there's little different things here and there. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. I'll go ahead and start off down here my 125 gallon peacock and hap aquarium this is pretty much my show tank and within the last update video i have uh gave this tank a new scape and it probably won't stay like this long either it's just a temporary thing i wanted to change it up but i'm thinking about rescaping this tank here in the near future again so yeah but it still looks really really well and eventually it's going to look totally different but as you can see all the fish are doing really fine in here and looking really healthy. I still have a little bit of aggression in this tank, but that's to be expected. Nothing over the top though. Everything seems to be doing very fine. There's no fish that are getting beaten to death or anything. It's really just this Venusus now. He is the tank boss and he is just a troublemaker. So usually if anything, he'll be pushing all the fish to one side of the tank. But other than that, everything else is pretty fine. You can see this Cynodonis down here is loving the way that this uh, driftwood is sitting now. See, he's about to go upside down. Psych! Oh, no. All right, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, this tank's looking very, very well. But yeah, let me go ahead and move on into the fish room because I don't want to make this video absolutely too long. But yeah, I'll go ahead and start off right here at the uh, fry tank. And it's like every other time I turn on this light, they're just looking even more bigger. And these guys are doing absolutely well. So they're almost at a uh, sellable size. Maybe here in the near future, I'll get a table at the swap maybe i don't know i'll think about it just to thin out some of the uh fish that i do have because i have a lot of fish growing out as you can see all the tanks up there but yeah we'll get to those here in a second but you can see these white labs are doing really well look at that dragon blood starting to get a little uh orange patch on them and starting to color up and look really really nice so yeah i got some lion's cove in here not really much has changed in this aquarium other than the fish just growing and getting bigger so i wanted to go ahead and document that because these guys are growing like a weed and it doesn't seem like a whole lot to me but every video i'm sure these guys look totally different so yeah so next fish that i'm going to go ahead and show you guys is tony all right guys so this is tony the flower horn right here as you can see he is still kicking i've been having some uh issues with this guy right here he has not been wanting to eat for me and he, I mean, he's still going, but he just won't eat for me. So I did get him to eat a little bit of shrimp the other day. So I think that uh, enticed his appetite to go ahead and eat this other little African cichlid that was in this aquarium, which I've been feeding him some of the fry that normally I would coal or something like that. So I've just been giving it to him, him instead to try to get him to eat, encourage him to eat. So yeah, I've also been feeding him shrimp. So he will eventually eat it, but he'll spit it back out. But as you can see, that's all that's left of that one cichlid. He was in here for at least two weeks. So I don't know what uh, caused him to all of a sudden eat it, but I think it's because he ate some shrimp yesterday for the first time. So hopefully I can get this guy to uh, start um, eating more frequently and get, doing a lot better here soon. But yeah, anyways, Tony is still here and he's still doing well, I guess you could say that. I mean, he's still alive, so that's a plus. Um, so here soon, I'm probably going to be taking this guy out of this aquarium and moving him up to there so I can get this gravel out of here just in case he ate some of this gravel. I'm probably going to put a light on his belly. I know I've been saying this for a while, but I've had a lot going on in my personal life. So, you know, some things come first, but he's still here and he's still kicking and I'm still having hope that he will get better. So let's hope that Tony gets better. I know I've been saying this forever, but <clears throat> down below, I just noticed my plants came up again. It's almost like an everyday thing that the Manubius uh, get pushed out of their spot and float up to the top of the tank. But yeah, anyways, you can see these angelfish right here are looking absolutely great. I don't know which one's the male and which one's the female, but they keep laying eggs right there on them leaves. So 
I don't know if they're fertile. I don't think there are. Maybe I have two females or I don't know. Or they're just not getting it figured out yet because they are fairly young. But yeah, if you guys know how to sex angelfish, drop down in the comments below and let me know which one do you think is the male and which one do you think is the female. I think this might be the male right here, but who knows? You do see a little egg shoot right there possibly. But yeah, who knows if you guys know down in the comment below or if you guys know, drop down in the comments below and let me know. I'm sure I, I need to do more research on angelfish myself personally, but yeah, totally awesome fish. And as you can see, these corridors, I have a group of six corridors in here. They're doing absolutely wonderful. But yeah, this tank's probably going to be getting uh, moved here in the near future. Another reason why I want to do an update video, there's a lot of changes coming here in the fish room, but it's really doing absolutely well right here. I just feel like it's such a beautiful tank that it deserves to be in a better location for viewing purposes. Going on over to my 40 gallon African Cichlid grow out. This is a triple stack 40 breeder aquarium rack that was custom built out of two by fours and it has three 40 breeders on it. But yeah, as you can see, the Ambunas are still skittish. They just all ran away. Now I did move the tank around yesterday a little bit so it doesn't look as good. But this tank was rescaped not too long ago and it still looks pretty good. I gotta go in there and straighten a couple things up. I didn't realize until just right now because I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out there because it's been about a week since I posted my last video. So yeah, these guys down here are just looking absolutely great too. Getting some good size to them. You can see they're all very hungry right now. Well, not very hungry, but they're being overly dramatic. <laughs> but yeah, these guys give me a kick. You guys can see how big these guys are getting and turning absolutely beautiful. Got some males in there firing up. And I'm sure before I know it that there'll be a bunch of males in here looking absolutely stunning so super beautiful fish excited to see what they turn out you can see all these abunas are back out as soon as i go by this tank they're gonna run away look at that told you every time so moving on to the tank right next to the abuna tank this is my uh 75 gallon bod aquarium let me try to get handle some of this glare move my butt in front of all this light in the background but yeah you can see these guys are doing absolutely well I still uh, haven't got any fry out of these guys, sadly, but I think the females are just still very young and they're still figuring it out because I'll see them holding and I'll come back like a day or two later and the eggs will be gone. So I'm guessing that they're either spitting them or eating them and just don't know what to do yet because they are very young. They're probably not even a year old yet. So <coughs> hopefully in the, uh, excuse me. Hopefully in the near future, I get some uh, breeding out of these guys and have a bunch of BOD fry for everybody. So moving to the 90 gallon right here next to this aquarium is my, I don't even know what to call it right now. It's kind of just a random mix of fish right now that are new pickups that I've quarantined and might sell rehome some. So yeah, I did have a group of 20 trophies in here. If you guys watched my last video, it was me adding these guys into here. I'll leave a little link up in the top right hand corner of this video or something right now and if you guys want to watch that you can but anyways these guys I got rid of about 10 of these uh Mori Trophius and then I have a few of these halves here still left so at the end and out this really good and eventually I'll probably move these guys into their own 40 gallon breeder in the near future so who knows you guys stay tuned for that and hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any of it. But yeah, as you can see, this tank is doing very, very well and looking great. So, you see all the plecos in here. They're always out and about. Pretty cool to watch them. That pleco cave literally just fell in when I opened this lid the other day. And it landed right there and I just left it. I'm like, oh, it looks perfect. So yeah, look at the little black calvus right there. So eventually, I'm probably going to do like a tank and can only tank and get these guys out of the same aquarium. So I've been feeding them these, these little like algae stuff right here or whatever yeah you see super soft uh, herbivore food but yeah i got that and then i got some other cichlid chow that i've just been feeding this tank i know that the haps and uh trophy has got a very different uh diet so i understand that and i'm not trying to feed anything that's going to make these fish bloat up because they are very sensitive to that but yeah moving on over to the tank right here behind me this is my 65 gallon snow white albino aquarium now as you can see there's a bunch of fish in here and the water is a little low 
there's every tank saw caught up to up to date with all water changes besides this one and my little uh shell door tank down at the end and my beta tank so yeah before i get to them tanks which i will here in a second i'll just go ahead and talk to you about this one so i gotta get this done but at the same time i'm probably gonna strip out some females out of here because i have four different females holding maybe more i got that one right there there's that one right there and i can't even spot the other ones at the moment but you guys are catching the drift that i'm saying so yeah i got a bunch of females holding in this aquarium right here i want to make sure that i get them guys up out of here and get them in their own tank to grow out because i'm absolutely in love with these snow whites and everybody else is in love with them too so these are probably my most sought after fish in my fish room for some reason everybody wants these guys out of everybody so yeah be cool to keep these guys growing and a lot more generations to come all right so before we get to this corner of the fish room i want to go ahead and stop right here at this beta tank which is one of the tanks that i just told you was getting a little neglected but it's fine these guys don't have a huge bio load and there is live plants and everything in here so yeah these guys are also due for water change here but as you can see these guys are doing very well and doing great and this is a 10 gallon aquarium with a divider in it and then right below these guys is another little grow out aquarium so i got a bunch of these snow white albinos i got some albino dragon bloods uh some ob dragon bloods in here and yeah a bunch of albino bristlenose plecos so there's a lot going on in this little aquarium and i need to get these guys upgraded here soon because as you can see they are getting quite some size to them so as soon as i put these guys into a 40 breeder these guys will just shoot and shoot up in size in no time and before you know it they'll be as big as all the other fry down there that i have grown out so yeah i'm super looking forward to that and yeah let's go ahead and get down to the rest of these aquariums down here at the end before i go that i'm going to show you these stickers i got made look at that super dope that's actually a huge sticker it doesn't look that big in a uh, video but you can kind of see it but yeah let me go ahead and start off with the uh sorry night aquarium so as you can see i got these little breeder boxes right here because i'm just going to go ahead and groom some males because my albino flavescent this guy and this guy which is the iceberg fryer right? and then i got a turkish albino in here as well these guys were getting a little picked on and i just wanted to separate them to make sure that they are nice and pristine i just want them to be very very happy and healthy so i know it's kind of a small space for them but they are just 100 percent fine and it also helps out for the less dominant fish that are in the tank still <coughs> to get some food because i can drop the uh as you can see there's different fish in different little areas between these guys so i drop a little bit of pellets in between there and make sure everybody's getting nice and fat and yeah everything's doing very well in this aquarium besides them couple fish that were getting a little bullied but as you can see i got that taken care of and eventually this this guy for sure i'm looking for a breeding group for this guy so i'll get him up out of here and see if i get a little bit better video for him but he is absolutely stunning i want to make sure i get a breeding group some females for this guy probably three to six females and he'll have his own, own aquarium i wouldn't mind some females for this guy as well but yeah anyways hopefully soon i'll get them out of there and get everything figured out with some breeding groups going on and so on but yeah they're right here below this tank it's kind of a boring aquarium you can see it's got some hard water spots that i need to scrape off with a razor blade because i think the top trim is leaking a little bit whenever i fill this aquarium all the way so that is why it's a little low but no biggie it's just a little breeding setup that i have that's below this 125 gallon out the way now I don't know what I'm gonna do with these fish in here because they're just so skittish in this setup. So I might move them around and get them a new setup. <laughs> I just noticed that there's a bunch of little fry in here swimming around. I don't know if you guys can see them. But yeah, that's always a good sign. You see that little fry right there? Yeah, these guys breed like crazy. Um, they are hiding, but as you can see, they are breeding. So that is a great sign. I also see some more babies in there. Awesome. Yeah, look right there some good sized babies i don't know where they've been but yeah anyways that's pretty cool to see all righty sorry about that my phone ran out of space so i had to delete some footage to keep the uh video flowing so as you can see right here this is my 92 gallon both corner bow front aquarium with all my adult abunas in here and there's also a bunch of these little fry in every little nook and cranny of this aquarium which is just absolutely amazing to me i love it and they are getting big so I show them probably every time I show this tank because I'm just infatuated with all the little babies that are running around 
and I think that's everybody else's favorite part about it as well whenever they come over here and see this aquarium so let me see if I can get this light adjusted a little bit up here in the front there you go now you can see all the fish so yeah these guys are looking and doing absolutely amazing you can see there's a bunch of guys in here so yeah really nothing's changed in this aquarium as well I did rescape it probably I don't even know if it was in my last update but it got rescaped not too long ago but yeah there's just so many little fry in here they're getting bigger by the day so literally every little nook and cranny you look in this aquarium you're gonna find some babies so who knows how many's in there there's a lot and they're growing so eventually they're gonna be as big as the rest of them <laughs> if they make it to that size but they are pretty confident I see them come out and eat with the rest of them sometimes so it's pretty crazy how that works because you wouldn't think that they'd be able to uh get away with that but it also shows you how if you overstock your aquariums what can happen it definitely helps with aggression and it helps with producing the more fry because if this tank didn't have so many fish they probably would have got picked off by now in my opinion so to even see them get to that size is pretty amazing so yeah moving over to my last aquarium right here i know i'm talking to your guys' head off but bear with me this is my 20 gallon long uh gold ocelotus lamprolog lamprologus gold ocelotus i think they pronounced that right i think i'm not sure so yeah don't judge me but yeah these guys are just the funnest little fish to watch and i get an absolute kick out of them and everybody that comes and watches them gets a kick out of them as well because they're just so small but mighty now they might look a little bit bigger on camera usually things are the other way around but these guys are puny in real life so they're super fun fish to watch and I absolutely love them and hopefully I get these guys breeding because these will be a cool fish to work with. So yeah, eventually these guys will probably be upgraded to maybe a 40 gallon breeder as well. I mean, wishes and dreams, who knows, but yeah, fish room's in progress. So I'm probably gonna end off the video right here. You can see that knucklehead right there just sitting around. I also got all this stuff right here, the rescapes and stuff. I got a bunch of buckets full of uh, gravel, or not gravel, but big rocks or uh, scape aquariums and everything else. So yeah, if you guys like this video and want to stay up to date with everything going on in the fish room, do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you guys get updated every time that I post a new video and stay up to date with what I got going on over here. But yeah, I'm probably going to edit out the video here. If you guys made it to this point of the video, I want to say thank you and I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.